Dr. Boswick again on medical marijuana. Okay, we have a number of learning objectives, and um, I'm going to try to put cannabis or medical marijuana in the state and the federal context, because I think that's important, um, it, to understand how there's a standoff really between the state and the, and the federal government, how much of what we know about cannabis is informed by 5,000 years plus of myth, at least myth if we live in a data-based, data-driven environment, evidence-based. There's a limited evidence to review. Um, there are FDA barriers galore to actually learning about legitimate cannabis derivatives. And uh, just give you a, some thoughts or have you asking questions about whether the states are doing the right thing in defying the federal government. So pretest questions. Medical marijuana is a blanket term covering multiple different chemical compounds and potential candidates for inclusion are endocannabinoids, phytocannabinoids, synthetic cannabinoids, all of the above. Please enter your choice. Quickly, quickly. Okay, next question. A medical provider is authorized to prescribe medical marijuana under the auspices of his or her state license, federal DEA number, First Amendment rights, or a medical provider has no legal authority to prescribe medical marijuana. Oh, very good. Half of you are wrong. <laughs> After the wellness lecture, the W, you're wrong. <laughs> Duh, wrong. Okay, the Ogden memo. <laughs> you can redeem yourself here. Issued by the Department of Justice in 2009 during an era of federal relaxation of enforcement of marijuana related criminal activity, targeted for prosecution, individual users, drug traffickers, caregivers who are acting in compliance with local state laws small-scale growers. Oh, I do have some things to teach you. This is very good, thanks. Next, okay. I put this slide up here because um, it's confusing as heck. Um, every color represents a different combination of legal for recreational use, legal for medical use, or illegal.